All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to talk about Star Wars Theory yet again. Now, this man just released a video that I'm going to be reacting to on HypnoCast. So if you do not watch my streams, consider checking out my streams every day at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The video that he released has absolutely destroyed the entire narrative surrounding the people that started the cancel campaign against other content creators like Geeks and Gamers, Nerdrotic, and Ryan Cannell. They absolutely just destroyed their narrative, and he picks it apart. Not only does he pick it apart, but he also has receipts about what they have said, not only about him, but other content creators as well, showing and proving that Envy is the driving force behind all of this hatred. They think inwards only about themselves. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to my channel, one of the things I talk about all the time is the fact that there are people out there in the YouTube space or just the content creation space in general that are afflicted with one of the worst things that a human being can be afflicted by, which is envy. Envy is something that will destroy you from within. It will make you into a husk of your former self if you let it take over your entire life. And there are people out there in the YouTube sphere that have let envy take over their entire life. They will look at people like like Star Wars Theory, and the first thing that comes to their mind is, that should be me. That should be me. I work hard, too. I deserve blah, 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 whatever. Envy takes over these people's minds, and they lose it. So then what ends up happening is that they get so desperate that they now have to try to take away what you have earned in order to try to bolster their own self, even though they're such losers that they don't realize that by even trying to tear you down, not only do they bolster you in terms of your popularity, but they're just ultimately gonna realize that none of that will ever make them successful so let's get into this video guys but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe but i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm now if you guys are unaware Alex and Molly were one of the first people, Molly more so, was one of the first people to start this campaign against YouTubers. And everybody started, quote, tweeting it because obviously it was a targeted campaign. It was something that they all got together and agreed to do. They all get on multiple discords. These woke ass losers get on discord and then they get together and try to do campaigns against content creators that they don't like because they know that cancel culture has worked in the past. So they're hoping that it works now. Obviously, it failed. It failed in less than 24 hours because YouTube said they're not going to do anything about it because it doesn't break terms of service. So obviously they're melting down and now they're threatening to go to advertisers, blah, 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 right? Well, Star Wars Theory, not only has he released receipts, text messages showing that these people are absolutely fucking envious of not only him, but other content creators that are just as successful as he is, but also has videos showcasing emails from these people admitting that they were essentially trying to ankle bite at one point and then eventually they just gave up once they realized realize Star Wars Theory left him in the dust. So we have a post here from Star Wars Theory, and it says, I have many people who used to be friends with Alex and Molly now DMing me private messages they would all have about me, proving where all of this stems from. Pure hatred and jealousy of me. I came into this space in 2016, so kind to every Star Wars creator, and to be honest, felt embarrassed I was blowing up so fast, so I was soft, uh, so soft-spoken with them all, despite seeing them and say this and that about me. I said nothing. You shouldn't have tried to take my livelihood away. I bothered no one for years. Now I will drag everyone through the mud. This man is absolutely fucking wrecking them. So you have a picture here from the guy named Alex. Now, Alex, Alex is, is a prime example of a YouTuber that is extremely envious of another bigger YouTuber, right? And Alex is not a small content creator by any stretch of the word. He has a lot of subscribers. Last I checked, I think it was like over 800,000. So I don't understand why he's so fucking like, why is he pocket watching Star Wars theory? It just, it must make him so envious, so upset. But let's see what he says. So he says, so I met Star Wars theory and he's really nice. So damn it, I like him now. And I at least understand him a little bit more. The person responds and says, fuck, when and how? And why the smack talk? Give me details. EA event today. Smack talk is just because I talk shit about him in the past or his channel in content anyway, but he was really, really nice. And he has like the same anxieties about his channel as we all do. And he is perplexed by stupendous wave, LOL. So it just humanized him. And I'm just like, okay, I can't even really be jealous of you anymore. I get it. Also sounds like he works crazy hard. Now, again, 
Ladies and gentlemen, jealousy, envy will always be the driving force behind people like this trying to pretend like they're doing it for a social justice. We know that anytime you see a demonetization campaign, it has absolutely nothing to do with the target of people that they talk about. It doesn't have to do about people of color. It doesn't have to do about marginalized voices. It doesn't have to do about any of that. They use those people as a means to, to an end. They use them to try to get what they want to get against Star Wars theory. And if they can use black people, if they can use people of color against Star Wars theory, they will do it ironically so even though star wars theory has never once been ever controversial about anything like that but again they try to lump us all up together into one singular file because it's easier to control us in that manner so we have that picture here now let's watch this video this video is very interesting from star wars theory let's make sure the volume's on high and let's play this here we go i remember walking down the street with him and he was like you know before i knew who you were I, I couldn't sleep at night he's like i'm serious more this is i'm paraphrasing i'm serious M molly would have to calm me down because i couldn't sleep at night because you and stupendous wave were just getting such crazy views and we were working so hard and we couldn't even come close to that and i'm like oh I, i'm sorry man and he's like, he's like, well, you know, I just feel bad because I just like really didn't like you. And I see that you're such a nice guy now. And uh, I feel bad about that. So I want to apologize. He started just like opening up and telling me these things. I just feel bad about uh, uh, that. And I'm like, man, this guy must have like really fucking hated me for the views to the point where he couldn't sleep at night and his wife would have to calm him down. Fuck, man. It's <laughs> now, imagine how pathetic you must be that you are looking at other YouTubers that are way more successful than you are, and you can't even fucking control yourself. You got to be calmed down by your wife because you're so damn anxious over the success of another man. It is fucking nuts, bro. Just get better. Like, get good. Why? Like, all this energy that these people spend trying to get you to monetize, trying to get you to platform, trying to pocket watch you, all this energy that they spend into that. If they would spend it into their channel, chances are they would probably be almost as good as Star Wars Theory. It would be fucking incredible if they could just muster all that energy into improving themselves. But they'll never do it because they think that their path to success is to tear down the already successful. It's, this whole shit's about views for these guys. I remember I took a cab with him once uh, to the airport. We split a cab. I didn't sleep. I was up all night. And I was editing in the in the cab, in the back of the cab. Uh, he's like, what are you editing? And I'm like, I'm like, oh, just the new Vader comic that dropped at midnight. He's like, he's like, that just came out. I'm like, yeah, I didn't sleep. And then I showed him, I pressed play as it was in the in the final cut thing. And he was just looking at it and didn't say a word. He was just like, <laughs> like all right, man, well, it's my stop. You know, hey, it was great seeing you. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And then and that was it. And then he started this this week in clickbait shit. And I just was like, the fuck, dude? It's clearly all about trying to slander me and like put me down and whatever to make yourself look taller. That's all it ever is, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ever get it twisted. I'm telling you, these people are envious. They look at you and they think that you got lucky. That is all it is. And you know what? It's not even just content creators because a lot of people will look at someone like myself, look at someone like Star Wars Theory, and the first thing in their mind is, oh, wow, this person, it must be so lucky to be able to have so many subscribers. But they're not there when you're sacrificing sleep to get the work done. They're not there when you're working six days a week 10 to 12 hour days and coming home to do youtube three to four hours every single night losing sleep knowing that you're trying to make it on youtube while also maintaining a full-time job they don't understand the grind and the hustle that it takes to do something like this and to do it successfully they have no fucking clue most of them are absolute failures or they in fact did get lucky on a certain blow up here and there that gave them a fan base that they now try to take advantage of and take for granted now we got another video here where he goes over something about molly let's check this out act like they're so inclusive but as soon as you say something that they don't like or agree with they're going to try and strip you and rip you of everything that you hold near and dear everything that you've worked so hard for if you can't join them get rid of them or something like that or if you can't beat them kill them no man th there is no beat you know i don't remember you guys ever joining my charity stream to raise over was a seventy thousand dollars for saint jude's in one stream you know who did join that stream uh nerd Roddick, geeks and gamers Ooh. ryan where were the other star wars youtubers you guys didn't give Ooh, a shit. that's not that's not a good look that's not a good look for good old Molly, virtue signaling Molly. You know, the, the white liberal female has got to be so virtuous on the internet. She's just trying to protect the people of color. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Where were you at? 
why weren't you at that uh, fundraiser? What happened? You couldn't join? Oh, just it's just too big a bit of a fundraiser for you, I guess. It was just too much for you, huh? I I literally put out a tweet saying that anybody can join. I I, I want all of I want this for the good of the kids. Y'all didn't join. Eckhart, freaking Star Wars explained. All, nobody, nobody. The only ones that joined were those guys. Did you go ahead and do a charity of your own for kids? No. You just sit around bitch and whine about, <laughs> oh, Star Wars Theory is doing this. He's doing that. Oh, this week in clickbait. We're going to make merch out of it. We're going to sell merch. You know that there are people in your Patreon that literally pay just to feed me information of the shit that you say about me? <laughs> the amount of eyes that I have everywhere in groups that you think are private with people you think that you know. I see, I watch, and I ain't going to leak anything, man. I'm just, all I need to know is who I associate myself with, who I trust when they come to me. I want to be friends and this and that. And all This is like fake shit. It's all politics at this point. Bro, this man is cooking. He is absolutely cooking. Molly and Alex are going to run with their tail in between their legs because they don't want the smoke. They absolutely don't want the smoke. Ladies and gentlemen, Star Wars Theories is handing out L after L after L. And I'm here for it like I always am. And I cannot wait to see what he's got further because he said he's got way more stuff. And he's just going to see what the reaction is to the first video. And if he has to... He's going to drop some fucking nukes. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.